Welcome, Brother Daniel Lane and Jesus. That's the ministry for us. So, hallelujah. song goes, it's the one that was on my mind. <laughs> Let's go to the old faithful song. The chorus first. I can't even think what I was going to sing. Battle's not the same real day. Lord, it's time.
Yes, sir. <laughs> Back to normal. Amen. Amen. I have enjoyed these young ladies getting up in here and singing. Amen. That's good. Keep it up. Amen. Get up there and just bail it out and sing for the Lord. Yeah. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Straight from the heart, it means something. Amen. It means a lot more than what you see these big name people getting up there and singing. When somebody gets up there and they start singing for the Lord and they mean it from the heart, that's right. that means a lot. Yes, yeah, that's Amen. Thank you, He's Pete. talking about compassion being gone. The church needs compassion. Amen. Amen. What's on my heart is just about right in line with that. You know, tomorrow, the way the world looks at love, they celebrate Valentine's Day. Yeah, they celebrate it. Almost like that's the only time they got to show love. Uh -huh. Amen. Almost like that's the only time that a husband should show love to his wife, even. Yeah. Amen. Come on. That's right. Amen. Every day we should show love. That's right. Tomorrow, that's just what the world looks at. Uh -huh. And they think this right here is the love day. Every day's love day. Amen. Amen. Every day is a day of compassion. That's right, brother. Amen. Every day is a day of love. Amen. Every day is a day that we should show forth love. That's that right. we should show forth the love of Christ in a way that we can really get down to somebody's level and draw them in to yeah. what this is all about. That's right, brother. Yeah. Amen. I had the honor one time of preaching a funeral for a 99-year-old saint of God that started serving the Lord when she was 14 years old. That is a lie. <laughs> she started serving the Lord when she was 14 years old. Yeah. Jesus woman through and through. Yeah. Sister McCoy was her name. She is a little old white haired lady. And when she'd stand up to talk, people would just shut up and listen to what she had to say. And she she was serving the Lord longer than most of us has even been alive. Amen. Amen. And I think she was like three months away from her 100th birthday. But she, there was something that she kept, uh, that I remember her testifying about over and over. She'd come to church, 90 some years old, would come to church, and she'd testify about how the church, they've got away from love. They've got away from love. And she'd say, if I do anything in my time here, I want to show somebody that I love them. I want to show somebody that love of Christ that's in my heart. And that's what she would testify about. Yeah. She would talk about love. She would talk about how the church, it, don't, it ain't showing enough love like it should be. Yeah, come on. And that would break my heart. Yeah. Just thinking about how... <laughs> We ain't showing love the way that we need to be. That's right. We know that Christ loved us. That's right. We know that. That's right. I mean, it, we read about it all through the Word. It says, He that hath my commandments and keepeth them. I mean, uh, John 14, 21, it says, He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father." And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Right. He has given us something. He has manifested himself to us yeah. over yeah. and over. I mean, it, it wasn't enough just for him to come and die for us. That's right. I mean, are you talking about a love when a man, when he would come robed in flesh and die for a people such as us. It says, but God commended himself for us and that while we were yet sinners... Christ died for us. Yeah. When I was in my sin, when I was when I was when I was putrefying, when I was Come blind on. and destitute and naked yeah. and didn't have nothing worth anything, yeah. Christ still yet died for me. That's and that's the kind of love that he had for us. That's right, Amen. brother. Amen. Right. Amen. That's a love that means something. Yeah, yeah. sure does. That's a pure love. That's right, that's a pure love. That goes again. That goes even more so than what they talk about a mother's love. Yeah. This right here goes beyond. And that right there is a great thing. Yes, a is. mother's love is, is is very near and dear. A mother's love is very strong. Yeah. But when you start talking about the love that Jesus had for His church, 
When you start talking about yeah. the love that He had for us, for His people, yeah. that's a love that goes well beyond anything that's even comparable. That's it good. goes beyond all comprehension. It goes beyond everything that we know yeah. and everything we see and we feel. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right, brother. Amen. It's a pure love. This is all. And if there's ever a time that the church needs to show love, it's right now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I've heard I've, I've, I've heard y'all say it. I've heard other people say it, talking about how churches have hurt people. You know, whether it's be this denomination, whether it's that denomination, there's always some story that I hear of why somebody ain't going to church no more. Yeah. And it's usually right around the fact that they don't love me. And that they was mean to me. Yeah. And they 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 done all these things to me. And I know some of it can just yeah. I know some of it's just just talk. Yeah. I know some of it's just excuses yeah. for why people don't want to serve the Lord. But when it comes right down to it, there's still some truth behind this stuff. Amen. There's still something going on to where our churches are hurting people, where we're wounding people, yeah. we're seeing people come into a hospital and they're out there laying on a bed and we're just rubbing elbows all over them and pushing them around when they're on their bed and they're needing somebody to help them. Come they're on. needing somebody to be courteous with them. They're needing somebody to show them compassion. Amen. Amen. Come on. And we're just rolling them around and bumping every part of their bodies against the walls. They got they got a broke arm hanging over the edge of the bed and we're just going and pushing them and it's just bumping right up against Come something on. and we're making it worse. Yeah. We're making it worse. Right. We're, we're inflicting pain on them when we're not showing love. Amen. Come on, brother. Yep. That's where we're at. That's where we're at in the church world today. That's right. Amen. That's where we're at. But God loved us. Yeah. He loved Come us. On. He loved us. Like I said, it's no question how much He loved us. Yeah. There is no, There ain't nobody in here that's even questioning how much the Lord loves us. We could sit right here and I could preach a whole message. I could sit down. JR could stand up, preach a whole message. He could sit down. Brother Wayne could stand up and preach a whole message about how much God loved us. Yeah. About how much He done for us. Yeah. About how He sent His, how He came, rubbed in place, He sent His Son died for us. Yeah. I can preach that He sent His Son because I know who it is. Yeah. I know that it's one God in all. I know that. We know this stuff. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's right, brother. We can we can preach this stuff over and over uh -huh. about how God is love. We know that. We know God is love. Yeah. There's all kinds of people that go to all kinds of different churches that'll preach that God is love. Yep. Yep. They'll preach it over and over. God is love. We can preach this. We can preach this till we're blue in the face about how much He loved us. Yeah. We can we can quote the, the John three sixteen yeah. over and over. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, uh -huh. that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Probably the most quoted Bible verse, yes, the most known Bible verse in all the world. Amen. Is that one right there? Yeah. And we can preach on that. Yeah. We can preach on what He done for us. We can preach about how He liberated us. Right. Yeah. That ain't all. That's right. That ain't all. That's right. There's there's something else that we, we can't forget. He told us to love one another. That's right. Come on. He told us to love one another. Uh-huh. Yep. To show love to one another. Yeah. It's not enough. You know, it, 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 we can know that God loves us. But if we're saved, we're gonna show love to one another. The Bible says that we know we pass from death into life because we love the brethren. Yes, you know, on. to say that we love somebody, to say that we to say that we have love in our hearts and we're bitter and we got strife and we're doing all kinds of things toward people and we're doing things that are against the word of God, it goes against what we're saying, and they're looking at us as a church and they're seeing that well if that Christian is so hate filled. How can they show? How can they say that they have a God inside of them? How can they say they have a God inside of them when I see the way that they act? The Bible says, "If a man say I love God and hateth his brother, 
is a liar for how can he love God whom he hath not seen and hated his brother whom he hath seen. Yeah. That's yeah. what the word is saying. But we gotta love one another. Yeah. We gotta show love to one another. Yeah. And this just don't extend to the household of faith. It goes to the world. The world. It goes to the world. The world. It goes to every one of them. Yeah. It goes to everybody out there. Everybody, right. Amen. Come on. It ain't just it ain't just you know the Bible even talks about it talks about how you love uh, a sinner's gonna love somebody that does good to them. Yeah, come on. Yeah. A sinner's gonna love somebody yeah. uh-huh. that does good to them. Yeah, that's right. But to love somebody that's wicked. Come on. To love somebody that's evil. Yeah. That's the kind of love that we need. Amen. That's the kind of love we gotta show as a church. That Right. Well, that hard love that Hunter was preaching about, mm-hmm. that hard stuff, yeah. it's hard yeah. to love somebody when they do you wrong. Yes. Yes. It's hard. Yes, sir. And that shows where the rubber meets the road. Amen. That shows who we are in Christ. That's when right. you can love somebody that's done you wrong. Right. When you can love somebody that's ill-treated you. When you can love somebody that's just done that's done things to hurt you. Come on. Amen. That's what the church needs. Right. If there is ever a time that the church needs to stand on love, it's right now. Yeah. yeah. That's right, brother. I was listening to this radio show. It's a Christian radio channel one time. And they was writing these letters, calling in to the host, saying, what do I do? And I, I, it broke my heart hearing about what this sissy was going through. It just broke my heart. She was talking about how she said, "She said, you know, I'm a, I'm a quiet person. I'm I'm a, 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 I'm not too trusting of people." And she was talking about how she 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 battles with depression, and how she met this lady at church, and how through this church she began to open up to this lady, and they developed a friendship. She said, "But I've always battled with depression." She said, "So the next thing I know, I." I, I'm getting to this depression state again. And, and, and it causes me, she says, I leave the church. She says, I know it was wrong, but I left the church. She said, my friend cut me off. Cut me off. Somebody in the church cut her off right there. God help me if I ever get to that place. Yeah. Amen. Cut her off right there. And she was talking about how she went. She made it through this depression. She made it through and she came back to that same church and that lady was still there. And she said, but our friendship is irreparable. She's like, what do I do? And I thought, oh my gosh, what in the world are we coming to when our churches have that kind of mindset that they treat a church just like a club. They think that this is just a place to come to and you just come here and you just do your thing and you just be a blessed person and you talk about how you're Christ-like. That's not love. Come That's on. not love. Our church needs to show love. Everybody, Amen. Come on. It broke my heart hearing this. And I thought, how? How can this be that this is happening in our churches? Yeah. For somebody to just absolutely push somebody to the side that's going through troubles and trials. For somebody to say that they love Christ and they're just pushing somebody down and say, I'm not going to help you. I don't care about the depression you're going through. I don't care about the troubles you're having in life. Bless you, Lord. That's right, brother. We need to show love. Yes, we do. A love, a love that just goes beyond. A love that really reaches down and helps somebody in trouble. Amen. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I love you, Jesus. says first Peter says saying you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren yeah. see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently yeah. fervently that means getting serious about it That's right. show a pure love show a pure love 
I can say that I love you till I'm blue in the face. I can tell you how much I love you until I, 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 until I, I just lose my voice. I can scream it. But to show love, to show love, that's what the church is lacking. Yeah. We got to show love. Yes, we do. We got to show it. Come on. To show what this love is, to show how powerful it is, to show a love, a Christ like love. That's why we love. We love because we was first loved. Right. We love because He first loved us. That's, that's what we need to have inside of us. We talk about being born again. Hey, we are born again. Uh -huh. And if we're born again, we're going to show love. Yeah. Amen. If we're born again, we're a new creature in Christ. Right. Yeah, All things are passed away. All things are become new. Right. I became a new creature. And when I became a new creature, there was love that came inside of me. Yeah. Guess what I done? I had things on my wall. I took them down. I had things that I was high. I had things that I was, I was saying I was a Christian. And I still had things that was expressing hate upon my wall. I had things, you know, I, 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 it, 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 all these flags that's up on my wall. Yeah, come on. Yep. Bless you, Lord. I said, I got to show love. Yeah. Right. I got to show love. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. I got to be a loving Christian. Right. Not so. I, 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 Brother Mark Procopio was telling me one time about how his church that he grew up in. I ain't going to name no names of it. But said it's church that he grew up in. So these new people would come in and said they'd just run them right off. Said just run them right off. Said they are so mean to them. A oh, mean, just this, this, this spirit, you know, is holy, just holier than thou. Yeah. Just, just I, I, I'm so good and I'm so good and you can't, you can't attain to this level that I'm at. Yeah. Uh -huh. Come on. We got to get away from that. Amen. Amen. We gotta get away from that. It says condescend to me in a low state. That's right. If I see somebody right here praying on the altar, we need to get right there and pray with them. If we see somebody, we see somebody bound and in trouble, that's the same as us being bound and in trouble. Amen. That's yeah. the same as us going through it. Yes, We're in the same mind. We're to have the same mind one toward another. Yeah. If you have a trouble, I've got a trouble. Why? Because we're the body. And if the body's hurting, if the body's hurting, Amen. listen, it takes another part. Listen, if the hand has a thorn in it, the hand, it cannot get that thorn out of it. I need another hand yeah. to come along and pull it out. Amen. That's where we're lacking. Where we're a church to show love. Amen. Amen. Come on. Right. Right. We're a body. When I stub my toe, I ain't never had my ear say, not my problem. That's right. Come on. Come on. Right. Never. Amen. Amen. That's right. right. If I busted my knee, my head never said, deal with it. That's right. Come yeah. on. It never happened. That's right. If Amen. we're a body in Christ, Amen. if you hurt, I hurt. That's yeah. right. If you're struggling, right. I'm struggling. That's right. Amen. 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 That's where we're losing it. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's where we're messing up. It's right there. Not having compassion one toward another. It says if you've asked you to go a mile, go with him twain. Twain. That's right. Get with him. Get with him. Amen. That's love right there. Yeah. Not just in word, but in deed. Not just in word. But in deed and truth. That's right. That's what we gotta show love. We gotta show love. Not just in word, but in deed and truth. And the things that we do and to mean it. The things that we do and to mean it. That's right. Come on. That's right. There's power in that. Yes, Amen. There's power in love. Listen, right. I know it seems so cliche preacher preaching about love, but obviously we've got away from it somewhere. Yeah. Obviously the church has got away from it somewhere. We need love. Yeah. We need love. Listen, if we ain't got love, we ain't got nothing dwelling inside of us. Amen. Right. Amen. That's right, brother. It says Amen. if you see your brother and sister in the need and you shut up your bowels of compassion, Where? how dwelleth the love of God in you? Yeah. How do we have the love of God in how? us? How? How? Come on, that's good. That's right. That's right. Amen. If we see somebody in need and we just shut them off, Shut them off. I don't care the depression you're going through. Yeah. It goes beyond money. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. It goes way beyond money. Amen. Yes, there was times, there was times I used to go see Bobby Knuckles, and I'd go up there and I'd talk to him. I'd be struggling. I'd be struggling all kinds of ways. I'd be struggling financially. I'd be like, man. I'll be in my flesh thinking, man, maybe he'll give me some money or something like that. Maybe he'll give me something that'll help me. And every time, every time, it wasn't money that he gave me. But it was something so precious. It was something that money couldn't buy. It was something that you couldn't take it and put it in your pocket. It was something that I couldn't take it and I couldn't put it up on a mantle. But it was something that was inside of me. He imparted something unto me. Yeah. Come on. Through love. Yeah. He imparted something unto me. <laughs> By what he said to me, he showed me a love. Yeah. He showed me a love. He showed me some things in the Word. That's where he got it from. He didn't just pull this out of some old hat like a magician. Amen. He got it from somewhere. He got it from the Word. He got it from Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus, Jesus is the Word. Yes, is. The Word made flesh. Uh-huh. Well, the mind us. Yes. Amen. Amen. He's Thank powerful. You. Yep. He's an all-loving God. Yes, he is. He's all-merciful God. Mm-hmm. And he's all, uh, he's, he can be pretty tough, too. Uh-huh. Hey, Listen, come on. I don't want to be standing up there in front of him saying, you didn't show love. That's right. I don't, want to, I don't want him to look at me and say, when I was hungry, you fed me not. Hey, I don't want him to look at me and say, when I was thirsty, you didn't give me something to drink. I don't want him to say, when I was naked, you didn't clothe me. And then I would stand up there and say, Lord, when did I see this? When you see it to these little ones. Yeah. When you yep. see these little ones out here. It could have been somebody lost even. It could have been somebody that didn't have nothing. It could have been that old crackhead. Yeah, come on. Yeah. That's right, brother. we got to show love to them as well. Yes, we Amen. do. Amen. Yeah. I've seen people just so quick just to throw them away. Uh-huh. And to say that I've never been there myself, I'd be lying if I told you that. That's I've right. even found myself. Amen. I've even found myself saying, I'd just shoot one of them. I'd just shoot one of them. Yeah. I got a question what's in my heart when I get there. I got to say, hey, hey, listen, take a step back and look and see. Is that the way that you're supposed to act? Hey, man, come on. Amen. Right. Hey, That's right, brother. When I first met my wife, she'll tell you I was a very... I, I, I was cruel. I was a Christian. Come on, I and was, I was too. cruel. Come on, I was too, brother. I was right. cruel to animals like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. I've told people some of the stories that I've done. They said, you, you, you was on your way to become a homicide. I was vicious. I didn't regard any life whatsoever when it came to an animal. I could just take it and kill it. Just eat, look at it. Just look at it and I could kill it. And I met my wife and I took her somewhere. And I took her with a bunch of my friends. And I ain't going to say what I did because I don't want to break these little children's hearts. But I've done some things I shouldn't do. Just being cruel. And she looked at me and she said, A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, but the tender mercy of the wicked are cruel. It caused me to step back. She went proverbs on me. <laughs> Amen. She went proverbs on me. Yeah. And I got to thinking about it. Back in a time when it was even in animal sacrifice, the way you treat animals still meant something. It still meant something. Yeah. Even when they were slaying them, even when they were taking them and they were sacrificing them, it still meant something the way that they treated them. It still meant something the way that they treated them. Yeah. They just, just didn't, didn't take their lives right. and think they was nothing. They knew that by that shedding of blood right there, they was covering their sins at that time. And though it had to be abolished, though it had to be fulfilled, rather, yeah. come on. Still yet. The way that I was acting, it wasn't showing love. You mean you got to show love even in that aspect? We got to show love in every aspect of our life that we can because that's who we are. If we're a reflection of Jesus Christ, we got to show love. Amen. That's right. right. I ain't saying not to hurt. Listen, I ain't saying that that stuff's wrong. Just when you do it, you got to do it regarding that life. Amen. You got to do it in a way that you're not taking pleasure yeah. and just taking a life from something. That's, right. That's what this is about. The way that we live our lives, the way that we show love, it means something. Amen. Yeah. Bless him, Lord. That's right. 
You mean you can do good things and do it for the wrong reasons? Come on. Yep. Yes, sir. You mean people people do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. You can have a you can have some kind of religious desire and do it for the wrong reasons? Yeah. Come on. I'm gonna just go ask the Muslims. That's right. Yep. That's Come it. on. They'll die. They'll strap a bomb to themselves and run into a building. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing this is it. I'm gonna die. Yep. And they'll do it all in the name of their God. Yeah. They'll call it jihad. Yep. And they'll do it. Yeah. Come on. And not even bad an eye. They're not bad an eye. Oh, we won't even talk to people. We'll try to witness to them sometimes. Come, Come on, brother. Yeah. In the name of our God. In the name Come of on. the one God, the Come one on. true God. Amen. The only God that means anything. Yeah. Amen. I read in the Bible, and every time it talks about one of them gods, it has a lowercase g. Amen. Amen. That ain't the same as mine. <laughs> It ain't the same as mine. No. Mine has a love. Mine has a love that called me out of darkness. Mine has a love yeah. that sent me down there. And he said, I'm going to pick you up, son. Yeah. And I'm going to set you on a solid rock. Yeah. And I'm going to yeah. put love in your heart that's going to change you. Amen, brother. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Good. Talking about something that changes you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not the same as I once was. Uh -uh. We got a question. If we're in the church and we're living the same kind of life that we was once living, we got a question. Yeah. Right. Are we changed? Are we different? Do we have love abiding in us? Do we have Christ like love abiding in us if we've not changed? Right. And if you look into the Word of God, you find that you've not. Amen. Amen. That's the truth of it. And that's sad. Yeah. If I'm the same out there in the world when I was a sinner. Now, then I'm not. I've not been born again. That's right. I've not been filled with the Spirit. Come on. How? I mean, you're going to church all the time. You're going to church. You know, you're 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 paying your tithes. That's all you do. That's all you do. Amen. You're in a club. Yeah. You're treating it as a club, and your dues is what's taking you to heaven. Is what you're thinking. Yeah. We gotta have love. We gotta have something inside of us that's changing us. That's right, brother. We gotta have something deep rooted down inside of us. That when we see people in these positions, when we see people lost and destitute, when we see them blind and naked and just yeah. just not having nothing, that we have a love that just wants to pull them out. That yeah. just wants to pull them out. Man. And I know y'all got it. But we still got to keep on preaching. Yes. Amen. Amen. It don't matter. This stuff has already been preached once before. Does that mean we're going to sit down and say, well, that's already been preached? No, I need reminded. I need reminded. Why? Because this flesh is wicked. And if I don't keep it a bunch of suggestion, it'll forget about love. Amen. Why do you think? It says, it says when you see iniquity abound and the love of many shall wax cold. Amen. That's even in the church. Yes, it is. Yep. When you see iniquity abound and the love of many is going to wax cold. Right. It's going to keep on getting worse and worse and worse. Right now, right now, I can see, I can see J.R. and Brother Wayne getting in a fight right now. And what, what's the world going to do? Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. That's it. Right there. Uh-huh. Yep. Causing drama. Yep. Just stirring it up. Yeah. Just causing all kinds of trouble. I'm just going to sit right here and film it. Yep. That's what the world says. <laughs> Children, they, they're, they're, they just, their, their minds are gone. Yes, they, are. they don't know what true love <laughs> is. They don't know what love really is. They rejoice at iniquity. Yes, they do. It ain't just the children. No. It's the adults. They rejoice at iniquity. Yeah. They love it. They run to it. They see it. And they film it. So they can watch it over. And over. Come on. And over. And share it. Yeah. And love it. Yeah. Love to see somebody that's down there on the ground beating, just bleeding, just blood coming out of their noses and just having no desire whatsoever to help them. Yeah. God help us. Help us. Amen. 
cousins will have a bit of trouble cutting your head off right now. No, sir. Tell them who you are. Tell them you're a Jesus man. They will have a bit of trouble taking any of us out here and just killing us. And they say that they're doing it for the love for their God. Yeah. Come on, bro. I got to do something for the love that I have for the Lord. I got to reach out to somebody. Yes. Amen. I got to try to pull them from the fire. Right. Yeah. That's right. Bro. My old pastor, up at Monclow, used to say, he used to talk about how, he said, if I was driving down the road, he said, and I seen your house on fire, he said, you'd want me to kick the door down. He said, you'd want me to just absolutely beat your door down saying, wake up. Come on. Wake up. Come on. Bro. He said, that's what you'd want. He, he said, you wouldn't want me to leave you in there. Right. Just burning. Uh -uh. But yet the church, when we do it, we're trying our best through love, trying to pull people, pull them out of the fire. Yes. yes. Come on. And they hate us for it. Amen. Yep. And they hate us for it. What does love do? It, tra it, it tells us to tell the truth. Yes, it does. It compels us to tell the truth. The Holy Ghost inside of us, it just does everything in its power to make sure that whatever we do, we tell the truth. That's right. Yeah. And we show love. Amen. Amen. That's right. <coughs> they want us to beat the door down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to do spiritually. Through the preaching, through the witnessing, through the testimony. That's right, brother. We need love. It wouldn't be right to preach on love without going to the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. Amen. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Uh -huh. What is charity? Come on. That's the uh, showing of love. Yeah. That's more than just the word love. That's more than just saying, I love you. Yep. That's actually showing you that I love you. Yes, it is. That's, right. That's actually proving to you that I love you right. because I'm giving something to you. That's right. And it ain't, it ain't just the things in your pockets. No. It's actually giving you something. Yeah. Time. Time is one of the most valuable things that we have. And when you sit down and you give your ear to somebody that's going through troubles, Come on. There, there's love. Yes, it is. That's true love. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I'm nothing. You mean you can have all knowledge that's out there in the world? You can have all this knowledge. You can have faith so strong that you can remove a mountain? Come on. And, and, and they not show love and they not mad. That's right. That's exactly right. right. That's exactly right. Amen. And though, this right here, this verse right here is tough. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. You mean I can go and be a martyr? Yeah. You mean I can go and give my body in death? Poor Christ. Come on. Come on. Really? Come on. Yes. Really? Yeah. Amen. He's telling me. That's tough. Yes, it is. You could do all them things. Just go ahead and just lay your head down on a block, on a chopping block. Mm-hmm. And be doing it. Like Paul, For the wrong reasons. Amen. Because you might want the glory of it. People's like that. Amen. They might want the glory of it. Yeah. Amen. Why do you think these children? Why do you think these children are committing suicide left and right because they see stuff and they start talking about how at their funeral everybody's just weeping, everybody's just crying, and it causes them to fantasize in their minds about well maybe they'll show me love then, maybe they'll show me love then. That's the problem. We need to show them love right now. We need to show them love now. Amen. Amen. That's why you see this kind of stuff. That's right. Yeah. They'll go ahead and just kill themselves because then maybe somebody will love them. 
where they could see that desire that people had for them. They could see that desire. And it's not, they're not doing it out of love. They're not doing it out of love. They're doing it because they're down. They're doing it because they are hurting. And they think that's the only way. God help us if the church gets like that. If the church gets like that. Come on. Amen. Amen. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. That's tough stuff. Mm -hmm. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Listen, we need some long suffering Christians, is what we need. We need some long suffering Christians, is what we need. Showing love. Somebody gets down on the altar, they might be praying for the Holy Ghost. We need to be long suffering with them. We need to be long suffering. You mean I shouldn't just tell them that's enough? Maybe. Come back tomorrow. Maybe you'll get it then. We need to be long suffering. Yes. Long suffering. Showing them love. Right. Amen, brother. Right Charity never faileth. But whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. There's people that teach right there that tongues is gone because of what it says. It says, For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when that which is perfect has come, then that which is in part shall be done away. They think that's talking about when Jesus first came on the scene, that all this stuff is done. It died with the apostles. You ain't got to worry about this stuff no more. And, and, and they're just picking at times right there. So really, they're saying that knowledge is gone as well. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, they are. And they're saying that prophecies is gone as well. Yeah, they are. They don't pick on them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need love. Uh, yeah. Love causes us to get into this and want what God has for us. <laughs> That's right. It's through love that I found out that I needed the Holy Ghost. Right. It's through love that I found out that I needed compassion. Yeah. It's through love that I found out that exactly what I needed. Listen, there's nine spiritual gifts. I don't just want one of them. I want to be used in all of it. Amen. Why? So I can help somebody. Help somebody. Amen. Amen. That's right, brother. You mean you can want that stuff just so you can be highly thought of and sought after? Yes, you could. Come on. Amen. That's not love. No, it's not. Some people just want the power. That's right. Yeah. Power Some people name. want that name. Name and the power. That's right. What if I start calling myself DS Lane? Come on. Getting my name out there. You know, just trying to really trying to magnify who I am as a preacher. Yeah. What am I after? Come on. What am I after then? Mm-hmm. I want to help somebody. Yeah. If we get to a place where our preaching's not to helping somebody. That's right. Then I just need to set the mic down and sit down with and just shut up. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's what we need to do. Amen. Bless him, Lord. It says, when I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then shall I know even as also I am known. And now by the faith, Hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of these is charity. Without that love, we ain't got nothing in us. Without that love, we ain't got nothing to buy in us. That's true love. That's right, brother. That's what it is. True love. It says in 1 John, it says, Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew Him not. Yeah. What kind of love He bestowed upon us? Amen. Come on. What are we going to do with it? Mm-hmm. 
we got to show that same love. Right. Yeah. It goes on over. It says, hereby, in 16, it says, hereby perceive we the love of God. Because he laid down his life for us, we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Amen. But whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? I know this is unquote, but still yet I want to read it. That's all right. Amen. How can we show love? We ain't got it in us. Amen. We need it. Yes, we Church do. needs it. Amen. And we need love. Mm -hmm. Right, brother. More than just that Valentine's Day love. That's right. Yeah. More than just here, honey. Here's your box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. Amen. You look at you look at marriage today. Just think about it for a minute. You get up here. You stand right here. The preacher pronounces it over you. I love you. I love you. They kiss. They run out. Fifteen years later, I hate you. Mm -hmm. Come on. I hate you. I can't stand you. I wish I'd have never married you. I can't believe that I was ever looking at you and thinking that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. That's where the world is, and that's where Sunday and the church is. I don't want that kind of love. You know what? Love, love is not just an emotion. Love is a choice. Amen. Love is a choice. Yes, it is. Love is a choice. Come on, brother. They think they think that there's some soulmate out there for everybody. No. Love is a choice. You choose to love somebody. You choose to allow yourself to love somebody. And you choose to allow yourself to fall out of love with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the churches, that's why we have so much divorces in the churches. Yeah. Because they think they think it's all about some feeling. They think it's all about just some feeling that comes in and if, if they don't look at that person no more and think about them, I love them, that hey, it's just time to throw it away. Come on. No more. Love says I'm going to go through the hard times with them. Amen. Yeah. Love says I'm not just going to go by the feelings. Love says, love says I'm going to per I'm just going to keep on pursuing them. If we would pursue our lives the same way that we did whenever we first started dating, if they would pursue us the same way that they did. Yeah. Come on. That's love. Yes, it is. Amen. That's love. Right, brother. We shouldn't see this in the churches. I know it happens. Come on. Moses even knew it happened. Come on. Yeah. They wrote it in the law. Uh -huh. We've got we've got issues about it in the New Testament. Yeah. But it shouldn't be. That's right. And we shouldn't live as though, well, it happens. Mm -hmm. It happens. Come on, brother. We need to show love. It's a choice. Yeah. It's a choice. I'm sorry. It is a choice. We're not, we're not destined to be with... Listen, Paul said, I would have you abide even as I. Uh -huh. Amen. Paul said that marriage was given to us and we're allowed to marry, but I would have you abide even as I, he said. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because he that's married care for the things of the world, how he may please his wife. Yeah. And he that is unmarried care for the things of the Lord. Yep. Amen. It's, it's given to us by a gift. Yes, it is. It's given to us by a gift to show love even to our spouses. Yes, it is. Yep. Come on. So when the homosexuals are saying, I have a right to love, listen. Come on. I'm sorry. Love is a choice. Yes, it is. Come on. If you want that romance, read the Song of Solomon Amen. and talk about you'll find out how you'll find out what a true romance is, yeah. the way that he loved us. Right. The way that he spoke sweet words to us. Yeah. Listen, that right there is our main love right there. Amen. That's our main love right there. Listen, I love my wife. She she means the world to me. Uh -huh. That's as far as it goes. That's it. The world. That's right. Right here. Come on. That's as far as it goes. Amen. They're not given in marriage. That's right. That's they are right. as the angels are. As the angels. Amen. As the angels. As the angels. As the angels. I ain't saying, well, just forget about her now, no, because I'd be going against the word of God. That's right, amen. Her. But we got to show love. Love to our children. Love to our wives. Love to our co-workers. 
Amen. Love to our enemies. Amen. Love to those people that hate us. Yes. Love to those people that want to use us. Amen. Yep. We got to show love. Yes, we do, brother. And if the church forgets that, we have lost our purpose. Amen. That's right. We have lost our purpose. If the church forgets that, I don't want to forget love. I need it. That's all I got. Yes, indeed.